How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ass Hat Podcast on YouTube. It's getting really close to Halloween now. We only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days to go. So what we got here, you see I got seven DVDs. They're covers. So I can't see the covers. That one stands out, but fuck it. Got a little Halloween decoration. Got my trusty Charlie Brown Halloween mug. Dollar General, one dollar or 50 cents last year after Halloween. And what I'm doing is I got a random number generator. I hit the button. Boom. It tells me what DVD to pull out and bullshit about for a little bit. Oh, you get a little sneak peek there. Put that down. So how many DVDs we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Enter the number. Hit the randomizer. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It's three. Thank you. And if this is your first time watching these, go back the last couple days I've had these and also one other thing to do is if you have the time and you enjoy reading and so just watching videos I understand sometimes I want to read something and so that's somebody talk to me about it go to double T's D-O-U-B-L-E the letter T S bloggerreviews.blogspot.com every day in October I'm putting up a different review of a horror movie a horror TV show some Halloween cartoons shit like that Hope you check them out. All right, what we got? Oh, hey, this is the four, the all night horror marathon from MGM Screen Factory. Okay, Screen Factory. It's got What's the Matter with Helen, The Vagrant, The Godsend, and The Outing. Okay, that's about the killer genie. Let's see. What's the Matter with Helen, 1971. Debbie Reynolds and Shelley Winters star in the stylish shocker set in 1930s Hollywood about two women who come to Tinseltown to start an idyllic new life, ending up at and end up in a terrifying nightmare. Directed by Curtis Harrington, Queen of Blood, comma, games. This relentless, frightening film also stars Dennis Weaver, McCloud. I barely remember McCloud, <laughs> okay. The Godsend, when a strange woman has her baby at the Marlowe's house, then disappears, Kate Marlowe is forced to keep the baby Bonnie. She loves the child, but when her own children are systematically killed, suspicions turn to Bonnie. That's R rated, first one was under you, okay. And it was from 81, sorry. All right, those are widescreen. This one's widescreen. The Vagrant. I remember renting this on VHS back in the day. 1992. Or seeing the VHS. Rated R. Widescreen. Bill Paxton. R.I.P., sir. And Michael Ironside. Star in, the, in this humorous psychological thrill as an ambitious young executive whose life is turned upside down. When a vagrant, Marshall Bell, from Starship Troopers. Okay, I don't know who Marshall Bell is. I have to, I have to check that out. Moves into his neighborhood. And then we got the outing, aka the lamp, 1982, rated R. It's 4-3. That sucks. I, I'm sure that played a theater. An ancient genie is released from a lamp when thieves ransack an old woman's house. They are killed in the lamp and sent to a museum to be studied. The curator's daughter, soon possessed by the genie, invites her friends to spend the night at the museum along with some uninvited guests. Ooh, spooky, spooky. All right. Let's check. Oh, shit. Well, might as well do it this way. Let's pop both these out. And that is why the case is see-through, because you got the Vagrant, and what's the matter hell, and God sent in the out, and AKA the lamp, you get a little information. Shelf, this, these were extremely cheap. I think I paid like 12 bucks. They had like two or three of these, and I got every one of them, just for the hell of them, because it's like 12 bucks for three okay movies. Uh, what I remember, what's the matter hell, and kind of blue. Vagrant was cool, God sent, I don't remember shit about. And the Audi, I remember being good. Oh. That's just a cool little cover, though. I mean, like I said, it's all night horror marathon. You know, each one's about an hour and a half, so that's what, six hours? Hell yeah, yeah. It's a great little throw it on, and especially now, because you probably get it used even cheaper. But you know what? I'm getting really thirsty. I think my trusty Charlie Brown glass there is out of some sweet tea. So I'm going to go fill this up. So I'm going to end this video now. But yeah, definitely check this one out. If you like not A horror, like B horror, C horror shit, it's definitely worth grabbing. No, watch, I'm gonna go look it up. This bitch is out of print, selling for like $75 and you're screaming at you, dumb fuck, you just buy a $75 DVD. No. Yeah. Pay up to $15. <laughs> anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, subscribe, all that other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye bye.